What's up guys, I'm back with another video today, and today I'm going to be making a settings video for all the good settings you need for Season 14. Now, I'll be going over all five categories. If you're on console, you're only going to need about half of them. If you're on PC, you can go ahead and watch the whole thing. Uh, I'll be going over gameplay, mouse and keyboard, sensitivity, controller sensitivity, video settings, and audio settings. Start off with gameplay. Uh, interact prompt style. I have it on compact. If you have it on default, it kind of gives you uh, everything's all all the descriptions are really big and it's kind of visual cluttery if that makes sense. A little too big for the screen compared to if you put on compact, it just keeps it nice and simple. And then button hints. I mean, it just tells you what button every what tells you what button serves for what purpose. Like Z for ultimate, U for tactical. And then G for grenades and 4 for heals. So I like to keep that on off because I, once you get it all down, you don't really need it on. Uh, crosshair damage feedback, I have no indicator on that because when you pick up a gun and you, you shoot the crosshair, kind of it kind of gets in the way. It's preference. If you like the crosshair, you can keep it, but I suggest you don't because there's no point. And then for damage numbers, I have those on stacking. All the other damage numbers are just too distracting for me. This is more preference. You should like play around with this and change it to whatever you want. Ping opacity, I have it on default. Uh, obituaries, I have on. You want to keep those on. Minimap rotation, I have that off because it gets distracting for me. This is more preference. Weapon auto cycle and empty. I have this on because I will forget to swap guns when, my, when I run out of ammo. Auto sprint, I have this on as well. Double tap to sprint, I do not have that on. It is a bad setting to keep on. Do not use that. Jetpack control, this is more for Valkyrie players. This is preference. So you can pick and choose. I use hold, but toggle, toggle is a little frustrating to use, but I'm sure there's some people that use it out there. Incoming damage feedback, I have it at 3D. Hop up, pop up, I have this off. Taking damage closes the death box and crafting menu. I have this off because it, it can get really annoying closing it. It's a setting that it's default on, but you, you definitely want to turn it off and get used to it. Stream mode and anonymous mode. I don't use these because I'm not a big streamer, so I'm not going to stream sniped or anything. Uh, usage sharing. I have this on. Performance display. You always want to keep this on. You always. That way it'll show like your ping. What frames you're getting and what's going on so you can uh, it's it, it helps a ton like if you're lagging it'll it'll basically tell you in the top uh top right corner right below player count and then club invites some of this is just like you don't it doesn't really matter like you can have this on or off i have it on communication filter this is actually new i added this recently reticle i have this on custom I use a, a pinkish reddish reticle. This is all preference. Like, this just depends on what you want. And then they added this this season to laser sight. You can actually customize it. I didn't realize this until like day two, but you can make it literally any color, just like the other one, or just like the uh, the reticle. But I did find out that this kind of bugs out. Like sometimes you change it, and then it'll just go back to default. So I'm just waiting on a permanent fix for that. And accessibility, I have colorblind mode off, subtitles off. This is this is all preference. Like if you're colorblind, colorblind, you should use this. Uh, subtitles, you don't really have to. I wouldn't recommend using it. And if you do, I wouldn't put it up any further than normal size, unless it's just really hard to see. And then, uh, I know this is a feature on console. You want to turn this off. You want to turn this off because it it uh, whenever you're typing in a lobby, it'll turn everything that you can read into audio, which <laughs> it'll it'll just constantly say like the same thing over and over again. It is so annoying. Turn it off for the love of God. Turn it off. You do not want this on. Moving on to mouse and keyboard. So if you're on console, you can skip this part. I have my sense at 1.2. This is I'd say you want to keep your M and K sense low. For your mouse you want to keep it around the like the 0.8 to like 0.6 range or 1.6 range that's like really the best sense mouse sensitivity this is preference i have mine on 1.2 and 1.0 i 
I do not have per optic on. Mouse acceleration, you want this off. This is terrible to keep on. Mouse invert. This also, unless you like this, you need to keep it off. Lighting effects, I do have this on. Uh, for certain keyboards and mice, you can uh, sync the like the audio with the uh, light up effects on your keyboard. So I found that pretty cool. But uh, now moving on to keybinds, I have tap strafe keybind. I have it binded. And then I have my tack on my mouse four and my ulti on my mouse five. Then I inventory and tab. I mainly use tab though. And I don't think I have, yeah, no, I don't have anything crazy. Green shy, it, it depends on what you want. You can keep it on any. I don't think this is definitely not an option for controller players. And now moving on to controller, button layout, I use default. Default, honestly, is the best way to go, in my opinion. Default is really simple. The controls aren't bad, and they're actually pretty good. And then for interact, I have tap to use and reload. I have default stick layout, toggle on crouch, hold on aim, and I have the survival slot button off because there's no point. You can just go in your inventory manually and then click on it. You don't need to use the survival slot button. The dead zones, I have them at default. Unless you should normally keep these on default, to be honest. You shouldn't have it at crazy high. And menu cursor speed, I recommend on keeping this high because when you're in death boxes and when you're in the menu and especially when you're in death boxes you need to get the quick armor swap you need to have this like somewhat high i wouldn't go like to the max but i'd say this is like this is a good standpoint and for sensitivity i'd say the best senses are probably like around from three two to four four so i would keep it in that range like these are almost like max aim assist senses like if you want to you want to be crazy with movement you can feel free to change it to whatever but I do recommend 4-3, or at least 3-3. Three, three. Those are the two best senses. I don't use ALC. I don't really like them. Uh, for the optic, I have everything just... I have this at 3, and then everything else default. This is just off. My look sensitivity is the same thing. Uh, response curve, I play classic. I basically play like almost default controls, because the default in this game for once is actually good. Look dead zone, I have none. Uh, you shouldn't have your dead zones up unless you have stick drift. Stick drift can be really annoying. But if you have stick drift, I just automatically put it up to large. But if you don't, then just leave it default. Inverted look off vibration. You don't want this on. <laughs> this is so bad. This is so bad. It's not something you want on at all. Not in a million years. Moving on to video. Um, display mode, full screen. I use stretch res. It's all like preference, what resolution you like the most. I think stretch res is the best. And yeah, that's what I use. I also use 1680 by 1050. This is also preference. This is all preference. Like if you're a PC player, you want to find a good resolution, you just got to like go through it manually and like figure out which one fits you best. But I do recommend stretch res. Brightness, I keep this at 50. I just... Don't want my eyes to just blow up from looking at the screen all day. Field of view, I have 110. This is a lot of these video settings are preference. But this one, you definitely want to keep like in the high 100 range. Unless you're like, you've got your face just buried in your monitor, then I'd probably want to turn it down a little bit. But this one, like, you should just experiment with until you're comfortable with a certain FOV. Like, I've been using 110 for so long that I'm just used to it. FOV ability scaling. So this is basically like this is for when you play Octane or any characters that make your FOV go out when in abilities like Bloodhound. Like this is what FOV scaling does. Makes your FOV go out even more than what it already is and then it goes back in. I have this off because that really isn't a good setting to have on. It kind of messes with you. And Sprint Shake, I have this on minimal. This is really annoying to have normal, like your screen is just shaking constantly. It's not fun. Moving down to like the actual video settings. I have V-Sync disabled, Reflex enabled. I have this at zero. I have all these turned down low because the lower you go, the better performance you're going to get. I'd say keep this. This is the only setting that you really need to worry about. Keep this around the medium range because if you turn it down too low, like the, the, the quality of the skins that you have on will just be utter garbage. <laughs> I could have looked so bad. I don't recommend keeping it like super low, just like low two to three, or maybe even like as high as medium. 
Unless you've got like some NASA PC, then maybe you can go all the way up to insane if you want it. But I do recommend just low. That way you can get, you know, the best performance. Like I average a constant 143 frames right now. And they're not even moving. Like that's just how good it is. And then moving on to audio, I just have master volume at 88, not 100. It's all preference, so you can turn it up if you want. And then voice chat, I have system default push to talk on. And then my push to talk is N. I swapped it around with T, because T is my inspect. And then sound effect volume, I have that at 100. Dialogue volume, I have that at 100. Music, I mean, you can keep this up if you want. I don't really care for lobby music. And then lobby music, of course. This is all the way off. And sound and background, I have off. And then this is just headphones slash stereo. Uh, and that's it. Those are all my settings. Uh, do keep in mind that most of these settings are actually really good. And you should definitely try them if you're on PC. If you're on controller and you're on console, unfortunately you don't have access to these video settings, which kind of sucks because they force you to play on resolutions that aren't really good for the game. Like, I'm sure if Apex actually gave console a, a video range, like, where you could change the resolution just like PC, it would be way much better. But, unfortunately, they just don't allow it yet. And console players, I know, are still waiting on the next-gen update. That probably won't come for a little bit longer. But, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please like and uh, subscribe. I also have other platforms. I'm live on Twitch every day. Uh, I do have a TikTok. I'm trying to get frequent with posting on there. But I, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching the video. Yeah.